What's going on guys? Today I'm ready to present a uh, program that I've been working on. Um, it is a AIM Race Studio 3 XRK uh, file to uh, CSV conversion tool. It utilizes um, the OE logging rates. So if your logging rates are, you know, past 20 hertz, if they're like 50, 100, 200, 500, or 1000 hertz, uh, it'll actually present the data at that rate. Um, which is beneficial because their current um, exported log rate inside of Ray Studio 3 is only 20 hertz. Um, and I'm going to go through uh, op operation and use of it real quick, and uh, we'll we'll get moving. First, you're going to open it up. It's going to say, "Hey, it's you know, it's a unpublished or un unknown publisher." Which I am an unknown publisher. I don't have signs, or I haven't gotten the blessings from microsoft on this so you'll click run anyway it will take a few seconds to boot up it did take on my uh on an older laptop that i utilize it took about 20 to 30 seconds to boot um outside of that it once it's loaded it runs pretty quickly uh, i am running this on a uh, desktop right now which is uh it's not the most state of the art, but it's pretty powerful. Uh, we'll click a uh, single XRK file for our, des our our starting examples. I have two uh, XRK files uh, here. Uh, I'm going to click the uh, sample XRK file right now. You can see that it's running. It's analyzing non-GPS channels. It does create a bunch of temp files in the process. This is what you see. And then once it's done, it'll write to CSV, and then all the temp files will disappear immediately. Um, writing to CSV is the most time-consuming part of the um, conversion process. Uh, it, it just, just due to the nature of how long it takes um, to write the CSV because of the CSV size. So we had a uh, sample uh, XRK file dot CSV uh, right there. So we got our sample XRK file and then our sample XRK file dot CSV. Um, if we locate the XRK file. Um, you know, I, it's going to be hard to compare it with, uh, the current data analysis softwares, but it does allow it to be pulled into, uh, Meglog Viewer HD, as well as Motec i2 Pro, if you have the CSV import license. So we'll open it up and, uh, get a, get a quick glimpse to, to compare it. It's a really big file, so it does take a little while to open when you use Excel. So you can see that the format says it's a Motec CSV file. We have vehicle. The venue is not filled in because it did not utilize a venue. Driver's name, device name ported. If I pull it over just a little bit, we'll see our log date and our log time match when the log was created, not when the file was created, you know, roughly 30 seconds ago. Uh, maximum logging rate observed was 100 hertz. Uh, the duration was 3,728 seconds. And that is about it. It does not have any beacon markers, but if it did, it would have the beacon markers provided here. Um, and yeah, and it, and it goes down in 100 hertz logs and it has all the channels provided as well. Unknown, let's see here. Make sure that unknown actually lines up with something. Yep, so it's unknown data that he has as canned messages. All right, let's not save that. We'll go back and rerun the program. We'll do the folder section this time. Actually, I'll show you another example uh, so we use if we use single xrk file and we click a file that's already been converted to a csv it will pop up a window that says xrk file has matching csv file uh, the same thing will happen uh, on the folder level if you have done a folder that has all the csv files matching from the xrk so if i choose xrk files we'll select that folder all of those files are completed as well so if i come in here and go hey let's just delete those whatever those were right uh, i rerun the program it loads we click entire folder we are still under xrk fo files i select the folder now all those files that i just deleted are being converted
it's pretty snappy on m most of your newer systems. There it is. Like, uh, like I said, outside of that, uh, you can open, open them up into Megalog Viewer HD. So we'll do that with the uh, sample XRK file that we had right here. Open. Let's go up to desktop. Sample XRK file.csv. We'll hit open. And now we have our data. So you can provide any, uh, any channel you want. We'll go wherever it was. Engine speed. Cool. There it is right there. And we have our data. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'll have a link provided uh, in the description below. I also have a, I'll have a link to GitHub. Um, so if you're uh, familiar with GitHub and want to utilize it for your own reasons, you certainly can. Uh, I, did, I did put a little work into it. So if you want to donate, by all means. Uh, but anyways, if you have any questions, just uh, reach out and we'll talk to you later.